We're now being joined by Nambi Narayan, a scientist on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Narayan, a very good morning to you. Big day for India. We're just a few minutes away from the mega launch of uh, uh, the commercial satellite Bluebird on board the LVM-3 rocket. How do you see this moment for India? Uh, well, it is great, as usual. Uh, we are always uh, looking for an opportunity to become a big player in the commercial market because of our cars are late. So we will get a lot of uh, assignments. So I, I think it is great. There is one more opportunity to prove our credibility. Or in other words, the vehicle gets a higher reliability. So that's why I'm very happy. Right. And also, will this be, a, Mr. Narayanan, will this be a game changer for ISRO and India as uh, uh, the, the satellite weighs 6,100 kg? And uh, will this be a game changer for the LVM-3 and uh, uh, ISRO's position worldwide? It is going to be a game changer, but it is not going to be liked by all the competitors in, in the sense that uh, you are becoming a competitor with a low cost, with high reliability. Okay, that, that's what it is, and uh, I, I have gone through that uh, big mill about it. So this is something which uh, we should understand that uh, this is going to be a game changer because, as I told you, this is uh, going. See, because there are so many uh, clients. Each one is looking for high reliability and uh, low cost. So we will be getting the preference compared to anybody else. So that way it is a game changer, yes. So, Mr. Narayanan, as you mentioned, that there are so many options that are available, but a U.S. company choosing India and Yusro's LVM-3 for the launch, what does it say? What message does it send out? Well, it is a message which is very clear. Any, anybody, for that matter, not only U.S. I am not giving specific importance to U.S. Uh, you take Europe or you take uh, any other countries, they are interested, as I told you, they want to launch for commercial purposes. This guy is now going to... Uh, give you connectivity from your phone directly to any other phone in the world without any change in the telephone. So that way he is going to be a, uh, suddenly get a big, big uh, money out of it. Now, he would like to have his investment or the capital to be the minimum. And here we are. So they, they are choosing us. And also, it is not just like that they are choosing us. Because they know that we have already launched this LVM3 uh, uh, or six or eight times successfully. Uh, and then uh, this is going to be the third commercial, I think. I'm not sure about it, but I think this is going to be the third commercial. But the most interesting part is that uh, the last, uh, the it's going to be the largest or heaviest satellite. We are launch, we are taking it uh, from our transparency. I think it's going to be very interesting. Right, Mr. Nambi Narayanan, also help us understand how challenging is it to launch a satellite that weighs around 6,100 kgs? <laughs> Everything is challenging. Uh, I think uh, your previous question, what is the tense moment or something like that. Every activity in this mission is going to be tenseful. It will, it will be giving the, the tension for those who are sitting in the uh, block house looking at the various, uh, various activities. So, uh, launch, we are, I think we are very good in all the activities related to the launch. Now we are having two launch pads, and we are going to have another launch pad uh, soon from uh, the southern part of the country. And uh, we have uh, excellent experience. We have come a long way. I think we are more than, uh, how many years? Six, 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 other, it's about 60 years, long way. Right, and how will this mission contribute to India's readiness for the Gaganyaan mission? Well, Gaganyaan is a different ball game. That is ours, and uh, we are doing systematically, proving one by one. But I, I personally think any launch coming in your way, you will learn something. You will make a mistake, or you will you will suddenly learn something. In that way, it will enhance our ability to. Uh, meet the Gaganyan requirement successfully. But otherwise, this mission is different. See, anything which takes off is called as a rocket, and the rocket carries some payload, and the payload goes to either a low-earth orbit or a single-earth orbit or some other uh, out of, uh, like Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan. So that way, each mission has its own, its own limitations or problems. But this particular mission, I am hopeful, helpful, 
from the point of view of uh, commercially, you are going to exploit it. That, that way, it's going to be against them. You will put it properly. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Nambi Narayanan, for joining us on the broadcast and uh, giving those insights on this mega launch. Uh, we're just four to five minutes away from uh, this mega launch that will be taking place in Sri Harikota. We're also being joined by space scientist Mr. P.K. Ghosh. Uh, Mr. P.K. Ghosh, is this a technological leap for India's uh, and ISRO's uh, LVM-3? Well, uh, good morning. I think uh, it is uh, more of a leap in which we are trying to tell the world uh, a few things. One is that we are one of the most reliable uh, satellite launchers in the world. Our success rate has been phenomenal. And more importantly, we are one of the cheapest. And uh, if you just compare the prices with uh, SpaceX or any private organization, we are much cheaper. So what does a commercial... Uh, organization look at. It looks at reliability and it looks at the economics of how much they are paying for it. So we are trying to tell the world in, in a message that look, we are not only good technologically, but we are reliable and we are the cheapest. So I think, uh, why do you think an American company like AST should come to India? Why do you think uh, when they have got the last year, the Bluebird, the other block, they sent five satellites in space. That is around September. Minutes away from the scheduled launch time. All right, uh, Mr. P.K. Ghosh, do stay with yeah. us. Let's also take a look at the LVM-3 vehicle specifications. Now, it is uh, the height of uh, the LVM-3 is 43.5 meters, and uh, the diameter of the vehicle is 4.0 meters. These are the specifications of the LVM-3 that is all set for the mega launch of the satellite Bluebird. Now, the payload fairing diameter is five meters and the number of stages uh, is three. There are three number of stages in the LVM-3. The liftoff uh, mass is around 640 tons, uh, tons. Remember, the weight of the satellite that it will be carrying today to the lower Earth orbit is 6,100 kgs. And uh, this is the highest ever that LVM-3 has carried. Uh, remember, earlier it carried around 4,400 kgs of uh, satellite and today it will be carrying 6,100 kg. Uh, Mr. P.K. Ghosh continues to stay with us. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, what sets uh, LVM-3 apart from the other options that are available? Why did the U.S. Uh, choose LVM-3 for uh, this mission? See, this is where the point, the most important point. Here is a private entity which had earlier used U.S. satellites, uh, U.S. launchers, but now it chooses India. And this I'm seeing is a steady trend. Many of the countries are choosing India. And mind you, this satellite is one of the heaviest that goes on to a low Earth orbit. It's 6,100 uh, uh, kg is heavy. Normally, in ILEOs, that is low Earth uh, orbits, you don't have such uh, big satellites. So whom did they choose? They chose India. They chose ISRO. The viewers and... watch out for the swing out of the cryo arms. All right, uh, Mr. P.K. Ghosh, uh, do stay with us.